My first film ha ran into a bit of success, and after that, it feels like this crippling source. I had this crippling sense of fear and uh, burnout after that. So it took me. My first film was in Cinemalaya 2009. It's 20, 2015 now, <laughs> six years. So it took me a while to recover from that, and then it took me two years to write this. Uh, I wanted to write this for my Lola, but she passed away, and so a lot of the feelings of grief went into this film also. I worked with Pepe in his first film, Encuentro. I was co-writer and assistant director. And then when he started writing Above the Clouds, he said, um, I need a collaborator, creatively, logistics, in all aspects. I said, yes, I'm willing to do it. It took us a year, half a year to, sh to, to shoot up in the mountains. And it, it took us another half a year to edit in and edit and do uh, post production in Paris. And and but it was for me a three year parang film one oh one again. So I learned I relearned film through this movie. Surprisingly, we really need that um, outsider point of view, uh, and then those people helped us bring the film to a global scale to, to that level. Um, their inputs were really helpful. Like, parang ha, but nila miyan na isip, but nila miyan nakita. And the sound, they're very meticulous with sound. That's why sound design for them should push the story forward. It's not just ambiance. It's, it, it should push the story forward, the story then forward. And I think it really worked in the film. And the color was just amazing. He's the colorist of Norwegian Wood and a lot of uh, European films. We gave uh, the location manager months to look for the perfect locations. Uh, and it wasn't mentioned in the film that it was Mount Ula, so it could be any mountain. Or, uh, we tried to look for a, for a raging river up north, but there wasn't any, so we had to shoot it in Montalban. And, um, and of course, the beautiful caves are all in Zagana. The mountain in the film is a character in itself, but it's actually not just Pula. So the mountain is composed of Pula, of Sagada, of some of Baguio, some of uh, some of Rizal. <laughs> We shot some mud, and then some of Batangas, actually. So it was like this. And what I learned from it is that we our country looks similar in different regions. Logistically, it was just for all of us it was a nightmare because all of us really climbed the mountains. When we went to Pulag, we had we were carrying this big Ari Alexa camera, or an entire crane up the mountain, and we were a crew of 60. We were camping on foot, walking overnight. And everything, so from the story to working with them and crafting the movie to the logistics was like an uphill climb, an up mountain climb for us. When we cast Pepper Smith, a lot of people didn't believe that he could act. Even the studios, because we went to the studios and asked them if they would partner. And they said, yeah, we like the story, but we're not so sure about Pepper Smith. And we said, no, we, I, 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 I said, I, I only see Pepper Smith. At first, you know, like, I didn't are you sure you want me to do this? Because it's a lot of people. I was a lot of comedy, light comedy, sitcom, and I was like, well, I wrote the story with, with you in mind, you know. That. But I go, uh oh, that will go well. You know, like, if you think, if you think, you know, I should do it, let's go do it. The next year in Sipuy Ondoy, so, lumangoy ako sa baha para lang. Pagliktas sa mga bata na kapit bahay naman. Then after, dadali ko siya sa bahay namin. Isa yung bahay na um, third floor yung taas. So ganun siya kataas. So, parang every time na naalala ko siya, nung sinushoot namin itong movie, um, naiiyak ako kasi naalala ko na naman. So, yung ano talaga, nalunod ako. Parang dun, nag, nag, ano po lahat, nag-snap po lahat na parang ito yun, ganito yun, ganito yung feeling nyo. So we started, you know, like, because uh, uh, the scene, I mean, the uh, the story really happens up in Baguio. Kaya, magmula pa lang dito sa Manila, going up. You know, they rigged the bus and all that, that, you know, the tourist bus na tinuan nila. And then, it was going up to Baguio, you know, like, stopping in every, some other places in every province. And, and uh, you know, it relaxed me a little, because, of course, uh, Nakikita mo yung mga ginagawa ninyo, you know, and then, and, nakakatuwa, di ba? Yung mati, what's that, me? Yung piyayin, di ba? Yung mga kalain, eh. So, ang saan matapos namin, salamat sa Diyos. Para akong nabuntal yung sibat sa laeg. Oo nga, hindi na ako nakakit na, eh. Pahinga nga ako sa kita ng bakulag, eh. Sabi ko, next time nakitin kita, not now.
what can I say, you know, like, wow, I'm glad, you know, like, they, they kind of enjoyed it, you know, that, and, and, uh, you know, like, I thank all of them, Sana, they could spread it out, you know, like, uh, have other people to watch it too. First time we siya mapanood sa Tokyo, isa para sa Figo. Um, nauna pa sa iwang mansa, bago sa, ano natin, ah, sa lugar natin, ah. Pero syempre, um, sobrang saya ko dahil after ilang years, um, natupad na rin yung pinapangarap ka na maipalabas siya sa Pilipinas. We've been screening the film abroad. We, we, did a, we premiered in Tokyo last year. We had a screening in Korea, uh, Singapore, uh, France, Berlin, all around. But, and then the, re the reaction, uh, it's always very hard. People always leave the cinema sort of in tears or goosebumps. But it's different watching it with the Filipino audience. That people were laughing as well. People were crying, and then um, it, and there was just this energy lang in the room that was different. So it's finally, it, it's finally, it feels like we have a home after just screening in the world. But we won't really have like a mall screening because it's so hard for a film like ours to compete with the Marvels or the big romantic comedy. So what we're doing is we're doing a pop, we're doing pop-up screenings. So small screenings uh, all around the country, starting uh, September 5 at UP. And then if any, like an org wants us to organize a screening, we will come to you, we will talk to you about the film after it plays, and we would love to hear feedback and para do a back and forth.